Hello everyone. In my earlier videos, I've spoken about the importance of good company, quality over quantity, and that you're the average of five people you surround yourself with. All of this is so that you're vibrating high and you're a positive, happy person at the core of your being. So in today's video, I'm going to cover something very important that you should be aware of if you're already vibrating at a higher frequency. You'd notice that people would like to be in your company and would simply like to talk to you to experience that positivity or just to feel comfortable for those few moments. If you're not aware or careful when meeting a friend for a tea or a coffee, they may pour their heart out and talk about the things that troubles them and just their unhappiness in general. Now, if you're not protective of your own energy field, you'd notice that after meeting them, their sadness pours all over your aura and that you start experiencing the same emotions as them. So this recently happened with one of my friends where she was helping her friend out by just being there for her through a rough patch. And I think she spent around two or three days with her. Well, at least majority of it. At the end of it, she herself felt very low and didn't feel like doing anything uplifting. She simply felt blah. And when she met me, she spoke about how she was feeling and that there was this strange, low, depressing vibe in her house and that her friend's problem was constantly running on her mind. Now, the reason for me to share this is to emphasize that while we might love to be there for others, for the best intentions that we have for them, it's equally or even more important to be aware that before you try to fix someone else's mood, someone else's vibe, make sure that you consciously have your own energy field protected so that you're not draining yourself out. You're not killing your own vibe in the process and eventually self-defeating the purpose of being there for that friend who needs you to lift them up and not really sulk alongside them. There may be times where you're not aware and that someone else's negative energy may overpower your positive energy. What do you do to spring back in such instances? Intentionally create some distance for a while from that person. Take in positive content, be it by reading a good book, seeing a video or music, whichever makes your soul feel at ease or even by talking to another person who's vibrating at a higher energy. Now, any of these triggers can act as a candle to help you light your own inner positivity and you'd notice yourself restoring your high vibration state. It's at this point that you consciously protect your energy and then you reach out to that friend and be the candle to light them up. It's only with daily practice and awareness that you'd be able to keep your own energy field steady and high, even if someone else's vibe around you is low. Always know that if your emotional state is not high enough, avoid helping someone else out as you won't really do justice to them, but in the process, you will further drain yourself out emotionally. If you want to ensure that you are that person who always is there to help others in need, be a sounding board for your loved ones. Start by vibrating as high as you can and consciously protect your energy at all times. I hope this video helps and if you do resonate with my content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time.